So today is the day we leave Langkawi. Yes. We've had such a, a great experience here. Yes. Um, our Airbnb was amazing. It was really, really great. We have loved Langkawi. It has been so awesome here. Unfortunately, yesterday we had like a full day planned of activities, but someone over here got themselves injured. Yeah, she pushed me off of this raft <laughs> I in the water. I push you. She pushed me off of it and then I... Not true. <laughs> ruined my foot. So we went to the aqua park, the big blown up things there. We were on the top of it and Tim fell backwards. She pushed off me of off it. of it. I did not push you. Tim fell off of it backwards and like... Yeah, they have like seashells like on, they're like caked on the bottom. They're like all over the bottom stuck there. And they're basically like sharp rocks. So my foot hit all of them on the way down and I was... Ouch just bleeding into the water. He was bleeding so much. <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately, we couldn't go to the waterfalls that we had planned to go yeah. to, um, which was one of the things I wanted to do the most, but it's but okay. We all had fun that day. It was really, really fun at the Aqua yeah. Park. If we even have kids, like, that you want to bring some more fun, I feel like I already said this a million times. I said that yesterday. Ruby has made a couple of new friends. Andres and Jose and Anya. This Airbnb is like in a little village and everybody knows everybody and they have kids and they do homeschooling and it's just the sweetest thing. They all get together and just play. So Ruby has been having so much fun. <laughs> have you Ruby? Yes, but we are not leaving Malaysia. We are actually just going going to the Borneo region of Malaysia. Um, we heard that it has some of the most incredible waters there and it has... The orangutan. Yes! We're going to an orangutan sanctuary. Yes! The orangutans, orangutans. 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 They're native to Malaysia mm -hmm. and Indonesia, but they have an actual sanctuary there. So we're going to go visit that and also just check out that region of Malaysia. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have a couple of things planned for over there. It mostly involves water. Yeah. So we have flight to catch. That's going to take us to KL, which has a two hour layover there. And then after the two hour layover there, it's a four hour flight all the way to Sandakin, Sand which is where we're heading now. So that's the agenda for today. Yes, and that's all, folks. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah, this is the last time we can be in this thing. We cannot stay here. I know. That just means we'll have to come back one day. Salam alaikum. Yeah, we made it through security. It was lickety split. It was really simple. Those are by far the best massage chairs I've ever been on.
Alright guys, so we had a uh, quick layover here in Kuala Lumpur and we're about to board this beautiful beast behind me to take our final flight of the day. This is our second flight. We have a three hour flight to Sandakan and then it is a four minute car ride to our Airbnb. So we will see you guys there. We made it to Santa Ken. It was like a three hour flight, it wasn't bad. Took a little nap with a sore neck now, but we made it. Now we're waiting for our grab, and our Airbnb is basically like three minutes away, so we'll be home quick. Hello, sir. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Okay, yeah. So we made it to Sipalak. Orangutan Rehabilitation Center yeah. here uh, in Sabah. It was actually formed or built in 1964 by an English woman named Barbara Harrison. Yep, yeah. and we are here to see Orangutan. Yeah. Yes. Orangutan, Orangutan. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. All I know is there's no G at the end, but I always thought there was. <laughs> yeah. They said they have 60 to 80 of these things roaming around, so hopefully we can see one. I would love to see a baby one. A baby, a baby one? Yeah. 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 looks so cute. Yeah. That would be super cool. It also just started downpouring, yes, it so I don't know if they hide hide when it rains, but probably not. We'll see. Seems like here uh, when it rains, it rains for like five minutes and then stops completely. Yes. And then it rains for another five minutes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we just got our tickets. They were fifteen ringgit per person. It was fifteen for a child and thirty per adult. Oh, thirty. And then you do have to pay ten ringgit for your camera. camera yeah. So, so it was eighty-five good. ringgit total for us which yes. isn't bad at all. But this place is really, really cool because these orangutans are free to roam yes. on the grounds. They have all the space that they could want. Or orangutans are only found in Borneo and Sumatra. Now, before they were like, you could find them throughout Southeast Asia, but as of now, you can only find them throughout Borneo and parts of Sumatra, yeah. unless they're in like zoos or different types of places like that. True, yeah. So we're gonna go try to find some. Yes. We just went to uh, one of the centers they had here and mm -hmm. watched the, the orangutan eat some fruit yes. and vegetables it looked like. Yep, we tried to escape the rain because it was just pouring so yeah, was. badly here. Um, so we went into that exhibit and then as soon as like we got in there after a few minutes they started feeding all of the orangutans mm. which was very very cool and then it stopped raining and the yes. sun came out and now it's dry out here. Well not dry but yeah, yeah. not pouring rain so we can come back out here and explore. Yep. We were kind of getting a little um, disappointed with the day that we decided to come because we weren't going to see any orangutans <laughs> but thankfully it's turning around. Yes. Whoa! 
Wow. Did you see that? Okay, what do you got? Doing this a red also. They like to see people's stuff. And they like to swing on branches. And they like to eat food. Eat and, food? Yeah. And, and their own spots. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Ruby <laughs> is totally obsessed with these orangutans. She's just staring at them like she's watching a TV, which is so great that we can do this and share these things with her because she can learn so much. You should yes. always take your kids out to do all these things if you can mm -hmm. because they learn so much. For sure, yeah. yeah. Plus, a, a huge one just came over. He's like a... I don't know how big he is. He's, He's so probably like big. 500 pounds. He literally looked like a gorilla. Six, I seven hundred pounds. A gorilla. I did not yeah. know orangutans got that big. No, me either. Yeah. He's yeah. terrifying. So some interesting <laughs> facts we have learned about orangutans are they are the most dependent on their mother animals in the wild. They nurse until the age of six from their mothers and they tend to stay with their mothers through teenagehood to learn the survival skills from their mothers and then it's not until they're like adults that they are free to go on their own mm -hmm. so out of all the wild animals out there they're the ones that stay with their mother the longest which is super fascinating i yeah, didn't even know that cool. was like not that um, much. Yeah, so they basically learn all of their like life skills mm -hmm. just by watching the elders, so they, their mother and all that, so mm -hmm. that's really cool. Another fun fact is 97% of their DNA is actually exactly the same as humans. So cool. So that's really cool, They're yeah. They're so close to like humans in their yeah. DNA scheme. We can pass like our diseases and sicknesses to them as well as them to us. So wow. like the caretakers here, most of them wear like gloves and like full mask and stuff so they don't pass anything. Wow. So that's really cool. And the next fact is that they are the only gray ape outside of Africa. That's crazy. Yeah. So they have like three different stages once the uh, mm -hmm. this place gets the orangutan. They rescue these orangutans from d different situations that they could be in. Like some people keep these orangutans as pets mm -hmm. and they rescue them from those situations or they use them for entertainment types of situations. And so they bring them here and they don't really have any survival skills to be just set out into the wild. So they have these stages of rehabilitating them to prepare them to be set free into the wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the first one is um, like when they get them, they basically just assess them mm -hmm. to see like um, where to they're at. To see where they're at, yeah, like in the development process, mm -hmm. see if they're healthy. And then what's, once that is taken care of, the next step is to put them into their nursery. They have the indoor nursery and then the outdoor nursery. So they first start with the indoor nursery and then they train, train them and help them develop those skills and then they move on to the outdoor nursery to do the same thing but outside and then the last step is to basically set them free once they show that they have learned those survival skills and mm -hmm. show that they're ready then they just set them free and they mm -hmm. go off and live healthy lives yes so that's, that's awesome. super super cool about the sanctuary and it's just doing such good things mm -hmm. yeah it's cool to be here to see it too because you get a better understanding of what they go through and how they help them and how they make them prepared to go out in the wild mm -hmm. so it's cool to see that firsthand what do you think ruby it's really fun are these apes or monkeys do you know apes they're apes why are they apes because they don't have to <gasps> yeah. you're so smart Genius. what is stronger a monkey or an ape an ape yeah now what is smarter an ape yeah what is who's sneakier? A monkey. Yes, <laughs> monkey. We have stopped back home, got super cleaned up and changed. We heard good things about this restaurant. Yes. It was one of the recommended restaurants to come when you're in San Diego. It's called the Balin Roof Garden and it's a restaurant on, on the top of a building. Yeah. So we're extremely excited for yeah. that. And it has a beautiful view of the water surrounding Sandakin. Sandakin, yes. And yeah. it serves Western food, which is super exciting because yes. we've been craving Western food. Yes, so let's go find it. Hi guys, we're sitting at the top of deck, but I want to show you our 
set up. The camera's pretty heavy. So this is our view, and yeah, this is a diva right here. <laughs> you can lay on it like this. This is my pillow. I have been laying for this past minute, and I have been having fun. And yeah. All right, so as Ruby has mentioned and showed you, it's a, such a beautiful spot here. You have shade if you don't want to be on the top of the roof um, because it, it can get a little hot, they said. But the beautiful thing to see here is the sunset. It's going to be in like 40 minutes, so yes. we're going to head up to the top to check out the sunset. But we just ordered some drinks. We just got some fresh apple juice and they are it's delicious. delicious. Yeah, it's so, so good. good. Super fresh. Super fresh. And very much needed on this hot day. Yes. And we ordered uh, some food that will be out here in a minute. But yeah. We hungry, y'all. Our food came out and we got our Wagyu cheeseburgers. And honestly, my mouth is watering. It looks delicious. We just gonna go for it, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got time to wait. Cool. That's so good. Oh, so good, so juicy. The only thing I would help with is this chili sauce. Ruby, look at your food. You haven't had mashed potatoes in so long. That's a big bite. <laughs> delicious? Oh my goodness! Oh my, it's so beautiful up here! Dad, come up here! We have just come up to the rooftop and it is gorgeous up here. I don't know why we didn't come up here and eat our meal because it is so cute. You have the view of the water, the sun is setting, and then there's this like jungle filled with these beautiful Asian trees. They're so, so pretty. And then you got a nice view of the city with all of the different buildings yeah, and- also you have a nice view of that water. Yes, it is so pretty here. Very so, nice. so pretty. It feels surprisingly nice up here too. Yeah, yes. Uh, it feels like we're so low, but we're really so high up. So high up, it right? It doesn't feel scary. No, it doesn't. Are you freaking out, Mama? No. I knew you're not. Ah. Yes, yes, perfect. Thank you so you much. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. All right, so I bet thank, thank you. Thank you so, thank you so much. much. Thank you're you. welcome. Good.